potential because, as the Reno Gazette reports, the nationwide shortage of qualified interpreters is affecting deaf students' level of learning. The Gazette reports that in Washoe County, Nevada, this problem is causing some difficulty for the deaf high school students at Booster High School. There only are not enough interpreters available. Only six out of 11 interpreters in Washoe County meet the legal standard for an educational interpreter. Rights advocate Yvonne Bukert of Nevada Disability Advocacy and Law Center told the newspaper that inadequate interpreters can result and students being denied their legal right to a free and appropriate education. Unfortunately, there have been cases reported where an inexperienced interpreter actually prevented student progress. Google told the paper, the teacher has to convey a lot of detailed information. And if you don't have an adequate way of obtaining that information through the interpreter, then you've missed out on a significant amount of your education. That means you don't have equal access to the same education that your peers have, simply because you can't understand what's being said to you. Like many school districts across the nation, Washoe County School District lacks fully qualified interpreters. But obtaining high-level qualification is a difficult task. Though a two-year degree in American Sign Language is all that's initially required for certification, it can take seven to nine years to achieve fluency in ASL. Some states approved new laws that require interpreters to score four out of a possible five on the Educational Interpreter Performance Assessment, or EIPA. The various issues allow exemptions to that rule. Todd F. Butterworth, Office of Disability Services Bureau Chief, told the paper, the new law takes effect on October 1, 2008. And once the regulations are finalized, it will require interpreters to work their way up to a level four as long as they make reasonable progress. So, new qualification standards will be enforced. Parents are still not allowed to inquire of their interpreter's qualifications. That information is legally classified through the school and the interpreter. Daniel Davidson spoke with the Gazette about his ambitions to become an interpreter. And as a coder, he says he understands how important qualified interpreters are. He says there are many factors going against these children in their life. Their education should not be one of them. According to a study by the EIPA, level four interpreters effectively can only interpret 80% of the teacher's message. To compare that with grades, that means the student can only achieve a B if they're working at their highest potential. 